Hello and welcome to a brand new video with me, Scott. Today and in this video, I am going to tell you all the facts and all you need to know about Maya Bay. How much is it? What is not allowed? How can you go there? How much is the boat to go there? From where can you go there? Where actually is it? Is this rock over there PP Lay? All the questions. And even is there a limit for people? How many can visit Maya Bay per day? What actually happens if you swim there or if you go in the water? That's very interesting. How is it even possible to be alone on Maya Bay? And the last thing, is it worth it? Should you really go there? Does it pay off all this stuff and the answers in this video and right now? So let's come to the facts right now. Where actually is Maya Bay? It's located behind me. Pipi Le, it's not Pipi Don where I'm standing right now. Pipi Don is the main island where you got all the hotels where people living, where people staying, where people are on vacation. That's not possible. You cannot stay on there on Maya Bay or Pipi Le. There are no hotels, no resorts, nothing there. So you have to take a speedboat or a long tail boat from here, Pipi Don, to go there. It takes about 15 or 20 minutes. And yes, you can do day trips from over there, Krabi, or behind me, further away, Phuket, just for the day if you take a speedboat, that's possible as well. How much is the entry fee? It's exactly 400 baht. How you go there? If you take the boat, you stop with the boatman behind Maya Bay, and that's called Losama Bay. They built a little pier where they stop with the boat and you can hop on, just walk up the stairs, walk along a little path for one minute and then there you can pay the entry fee of 400 baht. After that you continue your walk towards Maya Bay. It's the same walk and the same path that you saw in the movie The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio. So if you walk there get ready for the beach. What is not allowed? What is really forbidden? You cannot leave any stuff there. Please don't do that. All the rubbish you take with you is taken when you leave Maya Bay. You leave the beach as you saw it when you arrived and as you found it when you arrived. You cannot go in the water. You cannot swim there. What happens if you swim? I'll tell you in a second. But why is it not allowed to swim there? Yeah, guess. Because all the people, they are just in a layer of sunscreen, you know, all that sun milk stuff, hairspray, perfume, everything. They're trying to build up the nature again. All the corals, all the nature life is coming back and they don't want that chemicals in the water to destroy it again. So that's really not allowed. That's the reason. But what happens? I saw it firsthand when someone jumped in the water, went for a swim. There are guards watching from the back, you don't see them. But if they see you jumping in the water, they're gonna blow the whistle very hard, very loud. And if you're not coming out of the water straight away, they're gonna put you back in the water, not really in the water, but off Maya Bay. So off you go if you do that. Is there a limit for people visiting Maya Bay per day? There is no limit at the moment. I didn't see any indicators of that. But I guess if COVID just lowers down and goes back and more people and tourists coming, they will set up something. But at the moment, there is no registration system where you put your name in, no app, no internet page that you can register. And then when you go over there, you are on the list. No, you just arrive there, you just pay. I didn't see anything that they count stuff. So they won't push you away and they won't deny you entry because there are not many people there going anyway. But for sure they will start something after COVID or as I said, when more people are coming, just to make sure that not too many people go on the beach. How much is the boat to go over there? You should not pay more if you hire a long tail boat for 1,500 baht or a maximum of 1,700 baht if it's only Pipi Le, Maya Bay over there. If you go around the islands, Bamboo Island, Pipiton, all the places and including Pipi Le, that can and should cost more. That's all right. But if you only go over there to Maya Bay and it's just that trip, it should not cost more than 1,500 baht or 1,700 baht. You can even share a boat. And it's really cheap to go there with some people, with a group, or you can take a speedboat from Pipiton as well with strangers, you share it. And it's super duper cheap to go there 
if it's okay for you to sit with many strangers in one boat. If you wanna book some speedboats from Phuket, Krabi or any place, I just can recommend you a company. I'm not getting paid, this is not sponsored to make it clear. Andaman Sea Adventures and Tours. I actually forgot the name, but I gonna put the link in the comments and they are really trustworthy. I think that's the best company ever and they got so many positive customer reviews. I just can recommend these guys. How is it possible to be the only person over there like I was? Video is up there, check it out, it was amazing. I waited 22 years for that moment to happen and now it happened. Really, I cannot tell it in words, it was just stunning. But how can you do that? If you know a boatman and you are kind of friends with him or you ask someone who knows the tides, then you arrange a date, you have to find the date when there's a super duper low tide, like a spring tide, and all the boats are on ground here on PP Don, so nobody can go. I saw that quite often. Boatmen, they forget about the tides and they cannot go. So if that happens, super low tide in the morning, and your boatman knows what to do to put the boat out there, then you can departure from here, go over there, almost no one will be able. If you go at 6.30 in the morning, you will find no people over there, but be quick, soon there will be more people even in the morning. So that's the possibility to be there just on your own and alone. I did it like that, watch the video, it works totally fine. That's my insider tip here on my channel, Scott in Thailand. You're welcome. The last thing, is it really worth it? Does it pay off if you go there and when you go there? I can tell you as the biggest buy up event ever. I watched a movie, I think 400 times or even more. I waited years, 22 years. I tried three years in a row to go here. It was closed. I couldn't go here 2020. I couldn't go here 2021, but now I could go there 2022. And I'm a huge fan. But is it actually really worth going there? Yeah, I would say the experience was just amazing, stunning, unbelievable, the beauty of Maya B and everything and the feeling. Absolutely, you should experience that once in your life. But as a thing I want to do more often, it's really not the case because for example, a beach here where I can be alone, jump in the water, scream, make a video, no people here, no guards here watching me, you don't feel like people are watching you. I like that feeling. You don't get that specific feeling over there on Maya Bay. So it's somehow like sightseeing. If you come to my hometown Vienna and watch the Stephansdom and the huge church, it's like that watching, going a little bit inside, taking pictures, it's kind of that feeling but at least it's allowed to go in the water on Maya Bay knee high just to take some fine pictures. So that's a little bonus. But yeah, you should decide for yourself, is it worth going there just for making a sightseeing tour? For me, it was totally worth it, 100%. Would I do it more often? Maybe once again, but I'm not sure if I want to do it on a regular basis. So decide for yourself. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video with all the facts. Not talking a lot of other stuff, just the stuff you need to know. And as always, see you in the next video. Rock the universe and bye.